It's here. It arrived. You see, I haven't even un unwrapped it yet. And that's what it's going to replace. My Flux Delta. Very broken now. Very worn. Very bodged to keep working. What's wrong with this one? Well, the filament sensor no longer exists. All of the bearings have been replaced in the rods. The USB-C cable that's not really USB-C also been replaced. The PTFE feeder tube, Bojan tube. It's glued in now. That all came out. Uh, the boards, the main board at the bottom here has been replaced. The laser scanners don't work anymore. The belt slips. It's a miracle this prints anything, if I'm totally honest. Okay, so first of all, before we go time lapse, A, the noise you can hear is the fan heater. It's cold. Judge me. So, notes. Be careful, don't touch hot bits. Basically, and it's your fault if you hurt yourself. Good with that? Good with that. Right. So I think on with that note, we'll go time lapse again. If I find anything interesting, you'll be you'll know. Okay, so, first mistake made. So I've got the four posts on, but there's no hole. It is because it's down there. And it wasn't until I looked here that I saw this on the diagram. So, you're not going to see me do this, but I'm going to turn the poles over. And then the time lapse will carry on. Well, it's together. The next step is all the wiring and plugging it in. So, I'll be back. More time lapse time, I think. This might be slightly boring. I might cut this out. We'll see.
Okay, we're back. We are all together. I can't say I'm overly happy with these cables. I'm assuming that's what these cable tires are for. But where to attach them, I have no idea at the moment. We will work that out. Okay, so without further ado, it is time to uh, flick the switch and see what explodes. Okay, so we have hot in fan sprung to life. It sounds like there's a fan in the bottom. Control box, power supply, magic black box. And we have life in the screen. Oh, there's my fingers. We have life. Um, okay, quite what any of it means at the moment. I don't know if you can actually see it. There we go. I'm guessing that's the bed temperature is 17 and the hot end's 18. Why X, Y, and Z are flashing question marks at me is something else. Um, I mean, nothing's told me to put the SD card in it yet. So I'm assuming that's not needed to load any firmware in the description. Okay, so we do next have instructions on some sort of like get like loading the filament, feeding it, bed leveling, etc. So you're not gonna watch me do that unless I find it interesting. But you never know, I might show you it afterwards. Okay, so we got it all set up. Uh, pushing filament, feeding the filament was easy, uh, much easier than my previous printer. This one you just squeeze the thing and push to you feel resistance and then let go of the extruder. Um, and then you go through the menus in here, get the end hot, and then I just told it to feed 50ml, and the job was good. So after that was the job of levelling the bed, which is done with these four wheels again something I'm not used to um, and something I'm looking to rectify with the auto leveler um, this printer was auto leveling with the bed off you can see these pressure sensors in the corner pretty much the only plus to this printer to be honest um, so we've done a we've done a rough leveling and I don't forgot it quite right but it is sticking um, I might want to adjust it up. It looks like it was a bit a bit low, to be honest, from the nozzle. But we'll let it carry on. This is a test print of, I think, a cat or a dog. Whatever one was the quickest amount of time on the preloaded SD card. Um, and then we'll come back and see how it gets on. That's what it comes out like. Still printing well. These motors and the driver board in these are silent. Shame about that fan though. And that's not the fan you can turn off. Which is a shame, it's not even speed adjustable. So the fan on the side is the one that's controllable. And it does, it turns on and off when it's not needed. Admittedly, it's now running at full speed, but it ramped up to that. Whereas this main fan on the front is just on. Anytime the main power is on, this fan here runs flat out, making this noise. So someone must have figured a way around that, but otherwise, very happy with it. This is still that test print, I think it's a dog. And it's slated to take two and a half hours, so we shall see. And I've still got some things to do. Um, I know from others that the hot end, not the hot end, the extruder needs calibrating on its feed rate. Apparently that's a little bit off normally. And then this, this a complete mess of cables to work out where, where to route, cable tie, whatever. 
but some more research needed on that. But pretty beautifully, pretty much out of the box. So it didn't quite finish. But what happened, it let go of the bed. So I'm guessing I haven't quite got the bed level or adjusted quite right. But on a positive, it's a very nice print. It's so smooth to the touch. What looks like... Well, it looks like you can actually see the modelling polygons, but you can't feel them. It's incredibly smooth. Yeah, it didn't finish quite right, but I'm still taking this as a win. This is... Even with its slightly failed finish, this is better than I've ever, anything I've ever printed on the other printer. So, on to the project.